The day has finally arrived. The 1.2 update for Grounded has just released today. It is the super duper update. So the developers have posted this post over on their website. There's also a video. I have not watched it yet, so I'm going to watch it in just a second. Basically, this is going to say, check out the super duper update video as we get real cozy at your base and meet the new neighbors in the backyard. See what the buzz is about in update 1.2.0. As we share all the handy features, new creatures, and other significant improvements, it's the update that will bring the sting of the hive. So of course, if you know anything about this update, they added wasps to it. So I'm going to watch this video real quick and just kind of see what it has to say. Then we'll go through the rest of this and talk about all the new things that were added, including some new achievement, lots of building pieces, and of course, a new boss and bugs. We are excited to bring you the next great update to Grounded, rightfully titled The Super Duper Update. So first things first, we got a new voiceover here. This is different than the previous ones. With this update, we are introducing over 100 new crafting items and buildings to make. So we got the new couch. We got the shelves here. They just showed off some statues. Make your bases cozy, new ways to build, many quality of life enhancements, and Wasp, a new terrifying creature to fight. But first, let's check out the titular feature, the Super Duper. Be on the lookout for the newly added Duper Disc, which can be found on the story path and installed into the new Super Duper machine located in the Oak Lab. This new... So there's a couple dupe discs. I think there's three total. I did a YouTube short on them. I don't want to spoil it in case you don't want to know where they are, but there's three dupe discs. Putting them in here will unlock the different levels of it, which will allow you to duplicate more and more things. As you can see here as an example, the Mint Mace costs 4,600 to duplicate. It looks like it might have been upgraded. I'm not sure. So depending on the item and the level of the item, it will that will determine the cost to duplicate. So of course, something more important resources and higher level things will cost more to duplicate than small things. And you also need to get the disc because with the first level disc, you'll only be able to duplicate up to a certain amount. At max level, you can duplicate anything in the game. Equipment will duplicate higher tier equipment and items, including all the smithing upgrades the item has received. After unlocking the ability to operate the Super Duper by locating its disc operation, all other discs found will contain the ability to duplicate items. What is the cost of duplicating items? Science. So start scavenging for those discs and store up that raw science to stock up on those equipment pieces and items you can't live without. Are you looking to renovate your... So one thing before we move on from that, the duping machine. So from what I've seen, it seems like the main purpose for it is to duplicate one of a kind items. So thinking about like the badges that there's only one of, seems like that's the most, the, the biggest reason why it was added be, to address the situation of if you're playing multiplayer, only being able to have one of each of those. It can be used obviously for any item. From my testing of it during the public test server, the PTS, it didn't seem like it was going to be a replacement for, or a, a better way of increasing or leveling up stuff basically. So there is another feature, we'll see if they talk about it, that I'll talk about, but the dupe feature specifically, it cost way too much raw science, unless they changed it, which I don't think they did because I didn't see anything about it. The cost of duplicating upgrade resources was very expensive, so it was not, it, I think it's mainly to address the one-of-a-kind items, but let's continue watching the video. There is another, we'll see if they talk about the mutations they added, that probably will help address some of the upgrade things. Base, but worried about how long it will take? Be sure to toggle on the new handy net a gnat you get to control who will help you build your base. This handy fellow will be defaulted to on in creative and creative with bug game modes. However, to get them enabled on survival games, you will need to turn that save into a creative game first to activate them. Once enabled, you can- So I think they make men custom game there. So basically, if you're trying to get achievements, you're not gonna be able to use the handy gnat. I know it was brought up that they wanted, that people requested to have the handy gnat added to regular survival. I'm sure they'll probably add it at some point in the future. Maybe it'll be a hot fix or something. But right now, as of the update dropping, you're going to have to be either in creative or a custom game mode. So if you're in a regular survival mode because you're trying to unlock achievements, which there are new achievements, we'll see if they talk about those. You're going to not be able to use the handy net as of right now. You can activate them via the crafting menu or the construction radial. Along with the handy net, you can now utilize the place many action. This ability allows players to press and hold the build action and move their cursor around to place as many structural buildings simultaneously. That is a really cool feature if you like building, especially if you're trying to plan out your builds. Instead of having to place each piece individually or copying and pasting, be able to place many of them, that's, that's a cool feature. You will be able to relocate walls, floors, roofs, 
and other structural buildings as long as they are not the sole supporter of another building. Players will now notice that the pebblet and pollen turret have been combined into a single turret called the acorn turret that can be loaded with different ammo types. While in the turret, you can now see its health. Players who have previously purchased either the pollen turret or the pebblet turret will now have access to this new acorn turret building recipe. After loading their save, players who have bought both turrets will be refunded 4,000 raw science. Muscle sprouts can now be grown in the garden patch, and more new building pieces can- That's a little interesting there, that they're showing four. So when the, uh, unless they changed it back, when the PTS opened, if you planted one muscle sprout, you would get four by default. They then changed it to, you have to plant one to get two. And the only way to get more would be to use the green thumb, which is using fertilizer. So I'm not sure if they're using fertilizer on this, but just be mindful. If you just plant a single muscle sprout and don't put any fertilizer in, you're only going to get back two. Patch. And more new building pieces can be crafted, such as a bunk bed, a large plank pallet that holds up to 60 grass planks, and the hot tub, which will grant the teens who use it the hot spring status effect. Lastly, for your base, we have added the ability to receive new base rewards and buffs based on the overall coziness of your base. This coziness level will be determined by the number of buildings your base contains and the building types. So in theory, if you build a bigger and better base, you'll receive more buffs for staying inside. These that is, you do not have to build a giant base. If you watched, I did a video recently about building, where I said I, I basically spent time building in the PTS. I built a reasonable size base that was pretty compact, honestly. It didn't have a ton of room in it, and I was able to get max coziness, so you do not have to build a giant, like, fortress or massive mansion to get the coziness level. The main thing is basically getting all the different items, so you want to make sure, of course, you have a bed, use the fireplace, use the base, use the uh, pictures, all the different things, chairs, there's a sofa now, basically using every different kind of piece and getting the better versions of those. As you increase your coziness level, you'll unlock more stuff. So you want to just make sure you're placing down those things. So you don't actually have to have a huge house to get the max coziness level. These buffs can slow down your hunger and thirst meters and can provide a small healing boost while in your base. While in the proximity of buildings that provide coziness, a unique UI will pop up that will show you your current cozy level and how much progress you have to move to the next level, which will grant you with new buffs and rewards as you move up. These rewards will be furniture recipes, unique emotes, or special perks, all of which are not attainable anywhere else in the game. New achievements have been added for players to discover, and there are also five new mutations to unlock. We have added the ability to configure four mutation loadouts so you can quickly swap between them using the new combat radial. When looking at your custom game options, you will notice that the recipe unlocked and free option has been split into two separate options, all recipes unlocked and all recipes free. And as mentioned previously, you will also find the option to enable the handy nap. And great news for players that are on the go. Grounded is now Steam Deck Verified. Get ready to buzz with excitement as wasps invade the yard. These hostile enemies will surely sting, and caution should be used when attempting to meet them in the upper yard. If you locate their nests and mess with them too much, you'll release the full fury of the hive. For those players looking for a harder challenge, you will be able to venture into the wasp nest and meet the wasp queen, the newest creature boss to enter the backyard. Take down this queen to unlock new items for you to craft, such as a new armor set and trinket to wear. Good luck. You're gonna need it. All this and more are waiting for you in the Super Duper 1.2 update. Hop in when you can and continue your tiny adventure in the backyard. And as always, stay safe and stay grounded. So rather than going through the patch notes, because there's a lot to it, what I want to do instead is I'm just going to show you everything that's new in the game. If you don't want any spoilers beyond what you've already seen in the video or from what I've talked about in my previous videos, just hit that like button and check this video out later on or go experience the game on your own. For those of you who do want to see everything and maybe decide whether or not you want to come back or if you haven't played in a while or if it's worth coming to now, I'm just going to show off everything that was new that was added to the game. So first thing I want to mention is this is my house. As you can see, it's big, but it's not enormous. And I was able to get max coziness level five, which you'll see in the bottom right corner there by building this, by just placing down all the different things. As I mentioned earlier, you want to place down the fireplace. You want to bench, place down pupil leather couch. These are unlocked by increasing your coziness level. So this house is 
a decent size, but it's not even close to as big as what I've seen many people build. So what I want to do is go through the menus real quick, and we'll just talk about everything new that was added. Hopefully I can cover everything. We got the four mutation loadouts here, so you can change your mutations. There were five mutations added in this one. So starting at the end, Bardic Inspiration. This is unlocked by killing the Wasp Queen. The twinge of your bow string mimics that of a harp empowering your allies as you shoot. What this does is it will allow, it'll, I think it buffs your, buffs co-op if you're playing in co-op. So if you're playing solo, I don't think this is worth using. Sour Sensation gives you damage reflect, so it's basically similar to Thorns, but it will reflect damage back. And what this is unlocked, this is unlocked by eating sour candy. So you have to eat the sour candy. I think it's one piece unlocks level one, and then it's like four or five for level two, and then nine or ten for level three, phase three. Next up, we have Rascal Rogue. The Rascal Rogue is the one that's unlocked by finding the figurines. I did a video on where all the seven figurines were found. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below, probably at the end of this video as well, if you want to know where they all are. Because just to, I can quickly describe where they are, basically. One's in the, one's in the Hedge Lab, one's in the Koi Pond Lab, one is in the Haze Lab, one's in the Black Ant Lab, one's in the Undershed towards the end of it. Like right, actually, if you go back in the exit you come out of, it's right in there. One is in the storage room that's under the Java Matic, the secret storage room. And then there's one in Moldor's Castle. That's all seven of them. But I'll leave a video that shows you exactly where they are, just in case. Rascal Rogue, what this does is, when attacking with melee weapons, you have a chance to steal items from your opponents. That basically will increase the resource drops. Dissection Expert goes along with that. It gives you loot luck. The Masterful Grasp of Your Adversary's Intricate Anatomy empowers you to effortlessly, effortlessly harvest their rare and elusive resources. This is purchased from Burgle after getting the new auxiliary chip, which we'll talk about in a second. The Rascal Rogue Phase 1 is, I think, you get the first statue, first figurine, and then Phase 2, I think, is 4, and Phase 3 is getting all 7. And one of them, honestly, one of them is locked inside the room where you get the Prod Smacker, so the Prod Smacker requires you to do all the mixers and super mixers, so to get the Phase 3 of this, you're going to do, you're gonna have to do the, all that so you can get inside that room. Dissection Expert, you purchase by, after getting the chip from, Bur after getting the new chip and turning it back into Burgle, I think it's like 3,500 Raw Science. This gives you loot luck. This is... Mass World Grass, your adversary's Inker Anatomy empowers you to effortlessly harvest their rare and elusive resources. So after killing an enemy, if you have this equipped and you loot them, you'll have an increased chance of uh, getting loot. So if you combine this with the with the Rascal Rogue and you use the the rubbing the pet, like basically rubbing the stuffed mount feature or stuffed, I think it was the stuffed creature bug feature that they talked about in the video, you can actually get a pretty decent drop rate from what I've heard. I've not tested this myself, but someone did come into my stream the other day and say, or maybe they commented in one of my videos, that they had all these in action and they did killed all the black ox beetles. And I think they said they got something like two stacks of black ox horns or something like that, which is really high. So definitely want to take advantage of that. Now, the only downside to them is you're probably not going to get these unlocked until super late game just because of where they're how you unlock them. But if you're continuing to play after one after you finished everything, or if you're just taking your time and you've already unlocked everything and I've completed the story, these could be useful. And then last but not least is hauling hero. This increases your hauling capacity so you can carry more weed stems or grass planks. And this is unlocked via the coziness system. So the coziness system that's in here, as you can see right now, it says five. That's going to be the maximum. It goes from one to five. Placing down very little will give you level one. So basically, once you get this, to le once you get the coziness to level two, you'll unlock the first phase. Coziness level three unlocks the second phase, and coziness level four unlocks the third phase here. And combining this with all the other ways of carrying extra stuff, like the fluffy pupa hat, the intern badge, workers commutation, red ant chest and leg pieces you can carry up to 39 weed stems or planks plus the new pallets will allow you to carry 60 so you can carry 99 total huge if you're trying to move lots of uh, building resources around in the crafting let's quickly go through these and see if i can make sure i cover all of them so there's nothing i don't think there was anything new on the first tab here i don't believe so second tab is going to be the new weapons so there is a new weapon in here somewhere i think there's one there's yeah there's a new bow so there's a new bow, plus there's, we're not, there are the, these are the new rounds for the turrets. You have the burning rounds and the splody rounds. And then the bard's bow, you get this, you can craft this after killing the wasp queen. This is just basically the equivalent to the black ox crossbow. I didn't look at the numbers, but I would imagine it's probably got similar DPS. Although if you use this apparently with the apex predator, it can summon in a wasp. So to help you fight, which could be very useful. So that's the new weapon. And we got these new rounds here. We got the pointy rounds, the sappy rounds. Honestly, I don't use turrets too much, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. Rocky rounds and groundy rounds. They each have different, basically, abilities on what they what they do. So this is better, honestly, than using pebbles or pollen, because honestly, those were just a... Pollen was a super pain in the butt to farm. Then scrolling down here, there's no more on this page. Armor, there's one new armor set and a new armor hat. 
So the new armor set is going to be the Wasp armor set. And this gives you charge shot combo and light armor. Honestly, I don't even know what the full set bonus is. Let me check real quick. So the set bonus for the Wasp armor is called Air Superiority. There's no description for it on the wiki. And honestly, I haven't made the Wasp armor because I did not get enough of the pieces to make the full set. So I'm not even sure what that does. I'm assuming since it says Air Superiority, it probably has something to do with either bows or with fighting flying enemies. So I'll have to test that out and figure out what it is. Honestly, this armor is decent. What is it? A me is it light? It's a light armor level three. So I don't think there was a level three light armor, was there? Or was the... What's the Assassins? Yeah, there was Assassins. So anyway, that's the... There's three pieces for that full set. Then you have the Bard's Tutor, which is the... This this is useful because what this does is it will prevent the Wasps from attacking you. So Wasps are aggressive. If you have this hat on here, they will not attack you unless you attack them first. So that's what the Bard, Bard, Bardic Discouragement is. I don't even know what Wasp Void is. I do have this in my inventory. Can I equip it? Your Bardic buffs gain an additional effect, hurting enemies and allies. Okay, Waspoid. Wasps recognize you as one of their own. A Bardic disturbs a pluck of the strings from your charge shots. It causes enemies around you to suffer negative effects. Okay, so I got it backwards, actually. It was actually the other way around. The Bardic Discouragement. The Waspoid prevents you from getting attacked. The Bardic Discouragement does, puts negative effects on enemies around you. So I've actually used this. This is very useful, especially when you're going where the Wasps are. And then the only other pieces are going to be the chest piece, which is going to be the Wasp chest piece down here somewhere it is tier three i probably went past it already wasp breastplate and then there should be wasp greaves or something like that down here yeah wasp greaves so that's all the new those are the three four new armor pieces on the food page the new foods are going to be their tier three empanada dust and wasparoli which i guess is supposed to be casserole casserole so this one exhaustion recovery poison resist this will be useful for fighting against the wasp queen i definitely used it for fighting against her and then the empanada dust dust guard and hyper stamina could be useful i mean i use this for the wasp queen fight so i would recommend doing that and then down here there was one new smoothie which is the boss smoothie which i actually there's two new smoothies sorry wasp -dote and boss sauce the wasp -dote, actually i did not use the meal i used this when i was fighting the wasp queen what this does is it will cure the poison that the wasp queen does to you now, originally the wasp, I don't know if they changed this. The wasps were doing poison, bleed, and venom damage to you. I think they made it only do poison damage now, so you might not even need this. You might, if you have one, I'm guessing that the Mithridatism would probably work against them. I don't think it's a different kind of poison. I had one of these and I drank it after she hit me the first time, and then I didn't get poisoned again. Boss sauce is using all boss parts. It gives you plus critical hit chance. I have no idea what the percentage is. I'm assuming with the cost here, it should be more than 5 or 10%. Hopefully, hopefully it's like 25%, but I'm not sure. And then down here we have the BBQ BBQ medley. This is how you spawn in the Wasp Queen. As you can see, these are regular pieces of things you should probably already have found. On the map, we can just talk about things on the map that are new. This is the storage bin up here. The area down here is where you're going to be going inside to fight the Wasp Queen. The toolbox up here, I think this is the toolbox. The toolbox has a wasp nest hanging off of it. You can destroy that. There might be other wasp nests around the map. I'm not exactly sure. I just know I destroyed that one. You kill the three wasps that are there. And then the next time after you sleep that night, this entrance will open up and then you can get inside of there. Inside of here is where you're going to find the four milk. There's four new milk molars and two scabs inside of here. There's also in this, basically in this corner over here on the left, there's going to be a black widow. The black widow is guarding one of the new milk molars. There's also web sacks behind it. One of the web sacks has one of the new trinkets in it. I was able to kill that Black Widow by standing up on top of... There's books inside of there. I was able to stand up on top of the books and just shoot it with a bow and it couldn't jump up. So that was pretty simple. I mean, if you can fight it, fight it. But I cheesed it because why wouldn't I? There's a bunch of wasps in here, so you have to be careful about that. And then there's obviously raw signs and stuff in here. The boss... The the wasp queen is inside the wasp nest here. And you're going to go inside of there. There's going to be... They did move this since I got it. There's a skeleton in there that has the wasp queen recipe. It also is going to have a badge on it, one of the new badges which I have somewhere. I did not get all the new trinkets as far as I know. I know the wolf spiders drop a trinket. There's a trinket inside this sack. The badge is a new trinket. And now I'm trying to think about what the other trinkets were. Maybe I have them. I might have them somewhere. Let me go check in, what, in my little gear chest while I'm talking. So you got that going on. This is gear. This is not it. It's under accessories. So the new ones were going to be the widow, Whittle Whittling. That was inside where that web sack was. And that's going to spawn in black widowlings and then the new badge was called the which one was it 
health and safety badge. So it gives you life steal, but it also makes you take extra damage. That's on the body that's inside of where the Wasp Queen is. And then I guess I did not get the sticky fingers. Oh, sticky, what is this? Sticky pair of gloves that lets you steal pieces of insects as they attack you. Oh, so you could combine this also with those mutations. And now I'm trying to remember where did I get this from? This might have also been in that same room. I can't remember, to be completely honest, where that one was. So I apologize for that. But in addition, is there anything else on the map? The only other things that are changed on the map besides this bin up here is wasps will spawn. So you'll notice that if I go outside my base, there are wasps in different parts of the map now. And they might be a little bit hard to see because it's dark. There's wasps that spawn up there. But I think I've scanned for wasps right now if I go to the map. So these are the wasp locations. They do spawn. They're in the upper yard. Actually, this might be pine cones. So, you know, let me go sleep real quick, and then I'll show you where the wasps are. So one thing I did want to mention, we're going to get to the... I didn't show all the new building pieces off yet, which I can probably do first. This is the new pedal bed. This thing's super useful because it gives you a couple of bonuses down here. It's going to give you comfy energy and comfy defense. The comfy energy, sleeping in a luxurious bed grants all-day bonus to exhaustion time. So that's going to make you... It gives you more energy, I believe. And then the... Or maybe it makes you... Yeah, I think it gives you more energy. And then this one, comfy defense, gives you extra defense. So if you do that, plus you eat a meal and stuff like that, you'll be super, you'll be basically be super buff for the day. So you want to make sure you eat a meal and then you'll have the lower hunger and thirst drain as well. And while I'm in the base here, we have these coziness things here. Before I go out and show anything else off, let's go to the craft page because I did not show off all the building pieces. I got distracted by the map. So going down here to the building pieces, they did add some, I don't know if they added anything on this page aside from the roof, so the valleys. So this is the triangle piece that goes up in the top of the eave of a house. They added that for all the building pieces. So you're going to have one for the clover. You're going to have one for the feather, the crow feather valley here. They added a bunch of pine cones. So basically all the building roof pieces have pine cone pieces now. You've got the ash valley, the grass valley, the log valley, the mushroom valley. And then I don't think that they did not, they did not add any new doors, but they had all the, they added all the pine cone stuff. So if you want newer roofs, you can get that. Some of this stuff, most of these, a lot of these new things are unlocked by getting the coziness level up. So you're going to want to do that. I don't know if there's anything on this page. There weren't actually, there's new stairs. They added the corner stairs, interior corner stairs, half corner stairs, half interior stairs. And then some of these, they added acorn stairs and then half acorn stairs and all these corners. So there's lots of new stairs in the game, mushrooms. So basically lots of new stairs. They added awnings, which you can put up. I put those outside in my house in the garden. So they get different awnings for clover and feather. Over on this page, we do we have anything new on this page? We got the new bunk bed and the new pedal bed. I'd recommend the pedal bed you unlock at Cousins level five, I think, or four. You want to use this because that's the one that gives you those extra bonuses. And then down here, we have the large storage chest, which kind of looks like a treasure chest, gives you way more storage space than the regular chest. The large plank pallet and the large stem pallet allow you to carry up to 60 of each, which is huge, especially if you get the hauling hero going along with it. They modified, they combined the turrets into one, so you have one turret trap now, or so sorry, one turret that uses the six different ammos, and then there's nothing else on this page. They added the toenail chandelier. All the fireplace stuff is new. You unlock the fireplace stuff at like coziness level two. The chandelier, I believe, at level five. They got two new candles, the wasp paper lamp, and then they got a bunch more in here. I don't want to go through every single one of these. The pine cone table, I think one of these partitions, the wasp paper partition. So there's lots of new things in here. There's a couple new vases. All the statues, the statues are unlocked by getting the figurines. Like I said, I'll leave a li link for that. I'll leave a link for the video for that at the end of the video. As you can see, the figurines, the statues give you a ton of coziness. So you want to use those. They added the hot tub, which I have in my house right down here. Kind of just threw that in there. So I kind of tried to, eventually, originally when I was building this, I stuck it all and like clumped together. Then I just spread it out naturally and it ended up working out to get to level five. As you can see, there's the statue. And then on this last page, they added, I believe there's probably new, some of these are probably new, like they, there's got to be new, I guess the check mark means I can craft it, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. So now you can see what you can craft. I believe there's a mount and a stuffed version of every single insect in the game, because that would make sense, because now if you rub them, you can actually get better loot from them. So they should have all those in the game right now. And then I think, I mean, the resources are just the ones dropped from the wasps. So that's pretty much everything. And like I said, the only things that were changed on the map are going to be the wasp locations. Let me just swim over here real quick. There's the awnings out here. I'm going to, we'll, we'll scan for wasps so we can see exactly where they're located. They are only going to be located up by the tool, up in the upper yard until you do that sequence I told you before where you break their nest and then to kill the, first, kill the ones that are around it. That will spawn them in. Other than that, you don't have to worry about it. The wasps are 
When I fought them, they're pretty dangerous. You want to make sure you have tier 3 armor on. The regular, the base wasps were not bad if you fought one of them. Fighting two or three of them at the same time, they can basically like stun lock you with their attacks and they'll do a lot of damage. The drones, which are like the soldier versions of them, they are much, much more dangerous and they will heal themselves. So let's see, what do we got? Wasp shell. Everything drops a wasp shell. So we scan for those, go out here, and you will see they are now up here where the mosquitoes used to be, I believe, and then they're down here in this garden, and then they're over here in the where Aphid Island is located. From what I've seen, though, they usually are pretty high up, so you don't have to deal with them, or at least from what I've seen, maybe they're lower. They're normally up in the upper yard, but you'll see they're all over the place, so if you need their parts, not that big of a deal. So anyway, I think I covered everything. There's three new achievements. I believe I probably have them unlocked on this save. One of the achievements is getting coziness level 5. One of the achievements is duping an item, and one of the the other one was hidden. I want to guess it's probably fighting beating the Wasp Queen. That's the only thing I can think of. So the, there's three new achievements, which you probably will get them pretty quickly. So basically, to sum it all up, if you haven't played Grounded in a while and you were looking to come back to it, this, between this update and the previous one, which added a bunch of building stuff to it and quality of life things, I would say it's worth playing it again. You'll probably, if you continue an existing save, you'll get through the new content more likely than not, in probably three to five hours casually. You'll probably speed run it even faster because most of the new stuff, honestly, if the only thing you care about is the Wasp Queen. You can get to the Wasp Queen really, really quickly by just going, like, it'll just take you like two or three in-game days to get, and just be geared up and everything. It won't be that bad. Uh, if you haven't, if you're, if you haven't played before, the game's much better now than it was at 1.0. 1.0 was good, but this is much, much better. So if you haven't played, I would definitely recommend trying it out. If you're on the fence about it, I mean, you could always wait for more updates in the future. You could just jump into an existing save and do all this stuff in the course of like, like I said, three to five hours, and then just wait until if more updates get added in the future. But anyway, that's everything that was added in the super duper update for Ground of the 1.2 update. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And here's the video that shows you where all the figurines are so you can unlock the new mutation as well as be able to place down those figurines if you're interested in doing so.